Are you tired of feeling like you don't have enough time in the day to get things done? Are you feeling scattered, like you have post-it notes and things to do everywhere, but you just can't seem to get it together? My name is Julie. I'm one of the co-founders of Funnel Gorgeous, and a lot of people know me as being one of the most productive people they know. Funny thing is, I am just using a free tool like Google Calendar to keep me on track, and today in this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I set up my week. Believe it or not, it's going to seem so simple. You might be underwhelmed, but if you actually follow through and do with what I say, you will find your entire week transformed. So let's dive in. Okay, so let's get started. What we're going to do is block off non-work time first. So I'm going to do this like morning routine, and I'm actually going to set it to repeat every weekday, Monday through Friday, and I'll probably change the color and make everything that's family oriented purple. I'm also going to schedule in a lunch break. If you find yourself eating at your desk a lot, this isn't great. The good news about this is that if you decide you want to work through lunch, that's no problem. You totally can. But by scheduling out a lunch break, you actually create space in your day to have that hour. And if you decide to override it, that's totally fine. But if you don't want to override it, then you get that, you get that time in the day to eat and take care of yourself. And then this is going to be my evening routine. And this will block my calendar and it will show as busy, which is what I want it to show. And this gives me all kinds of flexibility to do family stuff. Now, the psychological impact of doing this shows you how little time you actually have to work. I have from basically nine to 12, three hour blocks, and then I have from one to five. But I also know that the hours in the afternoon tend to get less and less productive because I get more tired. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually block off two hours a week of what I call sacred time. Sacred in that I control it. I make sure that the only things I am doing during that time are things that take 100% of my brain power. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. The nice thing about this is that if you ever have, you know, a podcast recording, a YouTube video, whatever it happens to be that you have to take care of, these blocks become so sacred because you know you have about five blocks a week to create something really important. And this is not the time for emails and admin type stuff. So you're going to go ahead and block that off. You'll notice that now I have one, two, three, four, five hours left. Well, what am I going to do with those hours? I know that I have coaching and meetings, and I'm going to go ahead and stick that into the one to three slot, and I'm going to make that available. Now, notice what I do here when I go ahead and I hit Monday through Friday. I'm actually not going to make this busy. I'm going to show this not as busy. I'm going to show this as free. That way, any calendar that I'm connected to, like an FG Funnels calendar, will actually allow things to be booked during that time. Okay, so that's really important to make sure that it's showing as free. This I expect to fully get filled. Then I'm going to do some admin social media time once a week, and I'm going to put that in a different color so that it's clear. And I'm going to do the same thing. And I am going to do every Friday. I'm going to keep this as busy. Now, what I have left are basically two blocks. Now you can keep those empty for things that are going to happen throughout the week, or you can go ahead and fill them. You can decide that you want to give yourself three hours of sacred time and go right up till lunch, knowing that you have that break. You may want to pull this down. And again, the nice thing is, is when you make these repeating, they will all change. And then you can go ahead and adjust it with just one click. This is a general schedule. You can see here that in this way, I know that I have five blocks a week to do that really important work. I have three hours a day set for various meetings and coaching and phone calls. I have one hour dedicated to checking my email and checking social media, and I have plenty of time for family. This outline basically shows you how much time you have available because a lot of us think we can get more done then we can. The next thing I want you to do is think about, do you want to have calls every day of the week? I know I don't. So I actually um, will sometimes just take off this and this because I like to have Mondays and Fridays a more free time. And I actually create more sacred time on Friday so that if I have a big project to do, I can do it. Sometimes it becomes also a catch-all bucket if for some reason my, my life got crazy and I didn't get everything done. And here I have an open block. I'm not really sure what I'm going to do with it yet. 
The next thing you want to do is at the end of every prior week, you want to lock your calendar. And all that means is that once you see what the week ahead is going to look like, you are not going to let anything else in. That way, any meetings that come up, they get popped into the future week so that you know exactly how much time. So for me, I'm only going to have call days on Tuesdays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I'm going to have Friday set aside as a day to do projects. And I'm not really sure what I'm going to do here. Mondays tend to be an organizing day, a planning day. I might need some CEO time. And I know a lot of people actually plan in CEO time once a week. And that just really gives their brain that visionary time to like be focused on what it feels like to be a visionary Oops. instead of um, just always working in the business. And here is what a really productive one week calendar looks like. And you can't actually lock your calendar, but what you can do is you can tell your EA, you can tell you know any of your appointment calendars to not let people book closer than a week out. This is a complete, complete game changer. Now, if you ever have any conferences or events that you go to, I would recommend that you block them out now. And in fact, one week a month, we do a CEO week where there are no meetings, there's no admin and social, and the entire week is dedicated to planning. Those are great, great times to focus on creativity, vision, events, conferences, things that help you become a better CEO, better visionary are really, really good as well. If you want to experience more life-changing results when it comes to productivity, time management, being a creator, you need to totally come to the Marketer's Heart event. It's in New Orleans, but you know what? No problem. If you don't have a ton of time, you can join us virtually. Simply go to marketersheart.com and sign up there. You'll get all the recordings. You can use it as your CEO week, as your visionary week to get inspired, to get productive, and to get into momentum to build your business. So if this was helpful, please leave me an emoji or a comment. If you have a question about productivity or managing your schedule, let me know, and I'll see you soon.